And researchers at UC San Diego have made a discovery that could unlock a whole new way to treat COVID. Their findings reveal new insight into how the coronavirus attacks cells and how doctors may be able to set traps for the virus. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth with the team behind the research. A lot of people have been following the different treatments given to President Donald Trump, an experimental antibody cocktail, a steroid, an antiviral drug. But new findings published from a team at UC San Diego point to an entirely different way to battle the virus. It does open up another avenue for, for potential treatment. It's, it's not a cure. It would be something that would tamp down infection potentially. UCSD professor Dr. Jeffrey Esco and Dr. Thomas Clausen say their findings suggest doctors could set traps for the virus using long sugar chains as decoys. You can't not look at this now because what we show is that it's fundamental to the infectious mechanism. So you, I mean, yes, it needs to be part of every study from now on. To understand their research, the scientists say the first thing you need to know is that every cell is covered in a thick layer of sugars called glycans that look a bit like a forest. Next, the researchers like to use an analogy. Imagine you're a bird soaring over the trees, hunting a worm on the ground. The bird is the coronavirus, and the worm it's after is the key receptor the virus needs to enter your cells, a receptor called ACE2. To reach the worm, the team at UC San Diego discovered that the viral bird needs to interact and pass through a very specific tree, a long chain of sugars called heparin sulfate. Now we know that the infection depends on heparin sulfate as well, and if you remove it, um, you, you get no infection. So that redefines the mechanism and opens up for a whole new area where of targetable approaches. In the lab, the team showed that a common anti-blood clotting drug called heparin successfully acted as a decoy, trapping 80 to 90% of the virus, basically by adding a lot more trees. Certainly in the laboratory, you can demonstrate that, that it works, but to deploy it and use it as a therapeutic has not been demonstrated. Not yet, but ESCO says they've already been in talks with companies that plan to use their study as rationale for a clinical trial. It is very humbling uh, when you realize, you know, that we're working on a pandemic right now and that maybe what we've done can contribute to uh, treatment. Uh, for the disease. While their focus right now is on this coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, they say if this approach works, these sugar decoys could be used to fight off the next coronavirus, perhaps from SARS-3. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. The team spent about three months on the research. Their findings were highlighted today by the National Institutes of Health. Hurricane